my name is Christina Kent and I am a fourth semester student in the fashion arts program at the Hummer College. Like she's out in the woods, she's like, you know, listening to this semester where all the big projects happen and right now we're working on uh, the, the big one, the photo shoot. The first phase is the concept where uh, the group, we look into magazines, we look at popular movies, we really like do a lot of research online. It's really looking into what's trending right now. The second phase is to create our storyboard. Now this entails all of our lighting, um, the detail, the accessories, the camera angle, the model, and what we want the overall image to be. And what this does is it communicates to our photographer. Some, cool. some darker gray shades. And um, yeah, so we want to keep it like really frosty. We bring this to them for our pre-pro meeting and then they would give us their professional feedback to help us move forward and actually get to the phase of the studio. So we got to the studio and um, we were the shoot right after lunch so there's already quite a few uh, shoots already happening and it was it was really crazy to walk into. You want to arrive at least at least an hour early for all of your prep which is you know set, sorting out your merchandise, getting all of the clothing ready and steamed, um, setting up your uh, props ready for the set and then hair and makeup. Hair and makeup is very important. Really, once we get on set, two hours start to finish, prep, you know, go through all of the poses, all of the shots, all of the details, the snow being in the face, you know, little things like that. And then we have to actually go through all of our selects. So we have over 500 images usually that were taken that day. And then we have to narrow it down to 10, like the perfect, absolute best ones we can get out of that. It ends up looking really amazing, but we got to make sure that you're on time and you stick to your schedule. After the photo shoot itself, we have to go into the um, details and start retouching and revising how we want the image to look for a magazine layout. So we would go into Photoshop, we would make any details and revisions that we want, um, including like some lighting changes, fixing up stray hairs, things like that. And once we get that all done, we go into InDesign and then we actually create the layout itself. That's when it's decided who gets to go in the window. In the end, our final photos that we've chosen for the window, they get blown up to this huge four foot by six foot image that hangs in the background. And we get together all of our props and all of the wardrobe to go in. And it's just, the setup of the window is really a production in itself. There's so many students that come in. It's uh, two 12 hour days on the weekend. We spend our weekend here and it's just, it's a half a block. It's huge. It's a just, it's a, such a big deal. It's like something that you would see in high quality quality downtown New York, it's fantastic. You know what, I would absolutely recommend um, the Humber Fashion Arts Program to people who love fashion, love even photography, love working on windows, love working in events. Like it's such a broad spectrum. It's really got something for everyone. I would definitely recommend it for someone interested in this field.